Um, one in and one out this week. Um, just just at, at the start, explain Matty Blair's and, and that decision to kind of allow him to leave. Yeah, well, it was um, it was one of those where Blair he hadn't played as much football as he, he'd like to from the start of the season, and um, yeah, we'd had conversations over the last couple of months. He'd been out on loan at Cambridge. Um, he we recalled him there because we need him for, to be in the squad, but um, we've got a few uh, players back now. Um, and Blair is out of contract at the end of the year, so you know he was eager to play football. And I've always said, um, you know, I, I could have kept him here because he's a fantastic lad. You know, great trainer, always trains properly. He's always got a smile on his face. Superb to have around the place. But at the end of the day, these lads are footballers and they want to play regular first team football. And um, like I said, I could have kept him here as a as a squad member for for our sake. You know, just in case. But I think it'd be unfair on on someone like Matty who uh, had a big role to play last year for us and, and played regular, uh, had a big part in our promotion, um, especially towards the end. And you have to be fair to these lads as well and, and you know they've got careers to think about and uh, you know it was just easier and better for, for both parties for him to go and, and now he's playing he will be playing regular first team football for Mansfield. And um, it will be better for him in the long run because it will protect his career. So um, it's always a sad, sad one to go when it's with someone as as popular and uh, as good a good a lad as Blairy. Because you know he's always had a smile on his face. Um, he always trained well, like I said, and, and was always a, a fantastic pro for us. And um, you know, and he did play a major part in our promotion. But you know, the club moves on. Um, He's been probably unfortunate with competing with the players he has to compete with for the first team. I mean, you know, Gareth Evans, Andy Sarsavic, uh, Nick Horn, Tyler Forbes, who, who those two have emerged. And and this is um, part of football, but he's um, I can't speak highly enough about Blair. I spoke to him the other day, and um, he, he was full of good wishes for us and the club. And and that's um, that's the same as us towards him because, uh, like I say, he's a, a great lad. I guess part of the evolution of a football club, isn't it? You say a big, yeah. a big part last season, but I guess things move on. Yeah, that, that, that is it. it it's it, you know, it, it's it's never easy to make these decisions, but they have to be made. You know, we we have to constantly strive to improve and improve the individuals we have, an individual, uh, and improve the team, and and that's what we constantly try to do. And unfortunately, Blair he's, um missed out this season in a lot of games and. I think once you become established and, and play a lot of games, it's hard then not to do that. And um, you know, like I said, his contract was running out towards the end of the season, and now he's going to. He, I know he's happy because he's he's going to be at a team where he can he can play regular, and um, and probably on another contract. So, like you say, it happens in football. It happens at every club, every season, and every mid-season. Um, but um, no, he goes with everyone's best wishes because, like I say, he was. A fantastic, like re really highly thought. And you bring Liam back. Uh, was that always a possibility when he was recalled by by Wolves? Um, no, it wasn't always a possibility, but it was always something we hoped to do. Um, because obviously he went back, he got uh, recalled at the the earliest possible opportunity for them, which you know obviously we we were unhappy about, but you know it was part of it. But you know, uh, so um, he went back. He, he was in and out of the team there, and uh, we always kept in touch with Wolves. Um, Probably pet their heads a little bit too much, but you know we were we were always onto them, saying look, we, we would love to have him back at any opportunity. And um, you know I, I spoke to Liam when he left the first time and said look, if, if he comes available again, then we'd love to get him back. And I think he enjoyed his time here the first time round and, and scored a couple of very good goals for us. And um, when it became obvious that it could happen, you know we we did it, and um, and he was really eager to come back as well. So we thank Wolves for let, letting us have him for. Until the end of the season, it is this time, so we know that, and um, he can bring added quality and, and competition for those forward spots. You still looking to, to to bring people in if possible? Um, probably not. To be honest, I, th I, th I think uh, I think we've got a fantastic group of players. I, th I really love working with them every day. You can see the the drive and, and the ambition that they they work with. Uh, they want to. They want to do good things. They they know what it takes. They know they, they know the work ethic they have to they have to use to, to improve. 
and um, we've got a, a fantastic team spirit within the group. You know, they're all pushing each other on and supporting each other. And and Liam comes into that because he's already known by all the players. And similar to Josh when he went back and come back, these these lads are always all already familiar to the group, and we know they'll fit into the team. So um, no, we we obviously got. And Nathan Pond, who, who started training this week, we've got David Ball to come back from injury, and um, so you know th these boys will only help help us get stronger as a, as a squad. And I believe that we've got the ability and and players within this squad now to do good things. You must be delighted with the way that Josh is chipping in with some goals for you as mm. well now. Yeah, well, you know, I think it's uh, it's something if you look at our our team and the makeup of the team and the squad, we have a lot of. Attacking attack-minded players, um, you know. Obviously, our goal-scoring record hasn't been fantastic this season, but it's not through one of a trying or, or, or quality. I just think it hasn't happened for one reason or another. We constantly try to to work on that, and um, you know, a lot of focus is always on strikers about scoring goals. But I always believe that attacking midfielders should chip in, and what we have seen and and we know anyway from our previous uh, campaign last season in. People like Gareth Evans, Ali Sarsfield, Josh Morris, they, they're goal scorers. They can score goals for us and um, that's why we play them. But they can also give us the the, the defensive strength that we need throughout our team. So um, there's, I think we have a, a good uh, variety of players. Um, with, you know, Nick Orton coming into that, you know, Stephen Dobby can play off the front. Borley to come back and now Liam added into that. And I think Jamie Proctor's playing uh, so well at the moment that he deserves to have scored, um, but he's led the line superbly and, and been a real handful for everybody. So, you know, we, we believe we've got the, the players to, to score the goals that we need to win games, but like I said a, a, few, a few weeks ago, we need to keep the, the strengths that we have, and that's the, the discipline and the defensive side of the game, and just try and add on to that with our attacking play.